All right, so AWS CLI is already installed in our computer and we have tested it in a previous video. Now we are going to do here AWS configuration in our computer. We need a configuration because we want to access AWS from our local computer. That means we need some kind of user ID and password to access our AWS account. All right, so simply we cannot use our simple email ID and the password to access it. We need some kind of a tokens, a secret key to access AWS account. So before that, we have to make that um, AWS uh, user ID uh, in our AWS console. So you have to visit aws.amazon.com console, of course, then come to identity and access management, that is IAM, if you don't know how to uh, come here you type there IAM all right inside the services so what is this IAM IAM is identity access management that means it allows multiple users to access same AWS account all right so there you need to click uh, you need to click on this users and in this users currently if you have a brand new AWS account you might not have any user there so this user is a default user and uh, I want to add here one additional user so that I can access this AWS account from my local computer with the help of CLI. So username I'm gonna uh, put here KGP Talkie and uh, all right, then, then I have to provide here access type. What type of access I want to provide to this user I want to provide here programmatic access. That's mean I'm going to provide, I'm going to create access key ID and secret key. Otherwise, if I create here AWS management console, then an email or user ID and a password will be created to access this console. But I want to just access this account with this particular username via access key ID and secret key access. So click on next. Now it needs a permission. That's mean we have to assign what type of the permission this user have. That's mean the previous user which we created. That's the KGP token. All right. So for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to provide here a full access to AWS account, which is administrator access. But do remember if you are creating an AWS account IAM for some other user, uh, to whom you don't want to give a full access of this AWS and you want to give only only particular uh, services access, then you can search that particular services access. For example, let's see if you want to uh, give here a DynamoDB access, then you can select here. But this is our uh, learning purpose. So I'm providing here administrator access, then click on next. Thereafter, I don't need to add anything, just create the user. Once user is created, then you will be getting access key ID. You need to copy this ID. So copy it simply and uh, then type here configure. All right. As soon as you type here, C auto suggestion is coming there. Now you need to press here a uh, down key in your keyboard. Then this configure is selected and it is completed. Then press a space. Do remember if you press here a tab, it will not work like uh, in general in programming works. So you have to select that particular with drop down key thereafter hit a space. So it has a configure. All right. Thereafter, I need to just configure our access key and other things. So hit the enter. Now it will ask about the access key ID, although all, I already had some access key ID, but I want to now change it with I, my new access ID. So this is my new access ID. Thereafter, it asks about secret access key. So this is a secret access key and simply I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to paste it here and hit the enter. Then it says that default region and uh, currently I am, uh, I'm, uh, you know, if, if you want your default region, you can come to this, uh, this one. All right. I mean, uh, a default uh, AWS management console. And there you will be uh, seeing something like this, OU or uh, North Virginia or whatever. So you can select any of these default uh, region. So US East 2, US East 1. So currently it is US East 2, all right, for me. So this is selected, US East 2. If it is not selected, you can simply write there US East 2. 
all right thereafter it says that what is this default output format because we will be accessing here a multiple parameters from aws and it will be also returning result and uh, just to see it in a proper format we can say here we want to see it in json format or table format i think the table format will be better for us to understand how this data is being returned so with this table format it will be returning like sql all right or mysql database format so i'm gonna just make this table by default and hit the enter now you have set your successfully aws cli and this aws cli is now connected with your now it is connected with your aws account all right perfect superb so you have successfully configured your aws cli now in the next lesson we will take another very important lesson all right i'll see you next lesson